let's talk about data link frame uh, which is uh, a vital part uh, in data link layer protocol there are many data link layer protocols but every data link frame has three parts which is which is common in in any any protocol data link layer protocol that you use okay so this is uh, basically uh, as you can see on the on the slide uh, the role of a header uh, and it is basically divided into three parts and uh, we have the start frame and that basically a uh, field uh, tells the other devices on the network that a frame is is basically about to uh, start or it's about to come so uh, this is the start uh, frame uh, field uh, the purpose of it and then we have the the address field the address field in the header is basically used uh, to uh, uh, basically put or tell the source and the destination data link address the third subfield in the header field of a data link frame is the type or the length field and it's it's an optional uh, field which is used by some protocols to state either uh, what type of data basically is coming or or possibly the length of of the frame and then the trailer the trailer basically is is the last part of a data link frame and it has two uh, subfields. The first is the FCS, uh, which stands for uh, Frame uh, Check Sequence, and uh, this is used for error checking. The second uh, field uh, subfield in the trailer is the Stop uh, Frame, uh, which basically uh, is used um, to uh, tell the receiver that the frame is about to end. And it is again an optional field uh, that that some protocols use. Um, so uh, in the middle uh, you can see there is this data field uh, this is the this is where the PDU uh, is, is is basically residing uh, PDU stands for protocol uh, data unit that mostly contains the you know the the IP uh, packet okay so let's let's talk about uh, you know the Ethernet protocol for LANs and now we we are basically looking into the frame structure of a particular uh, ethernet protocol so it has uh, the, the you know a preamble which is an 8 byte uh, field and it is used for synchronization um, also um, there is this uh, destination uh, field which basically uh, you know has a 48 bit mac address for the destination node and then you have the source field which also has a 48 bit mac address for the source node and then you have a type uh, field that type field is is basically a two byte uh, field that basically tells you the upper layer protocol which is going to receive this frame and then you have the payload which is the data field and that basically is the uh, like i said the pdu the protocol data unit and it can it can you know vary from 46 bytes to all the way to 1500 uh, bytes then the last uh, field you have in in an Ethernet frame is the frame check sequence FCS, and that is basically used for for error checking. Okay, for point to point protocol for WANs, uh, which is you know for internet, uh, this is the typical uh, frame uh, structure uh, for PPP protocol. You have a you know a, a flag a byte, uh, which is uh, basically you know indicates the beginning or the end of a frame. And it has, uh, you know, a fixed sequence, as you can see on the slide. Um, and also, you know, this, the uh, the next uh, field we have is the address field, which is a one byte uh, field, and that contains the, you know, the PPP uh, broadcast address, um, because you cannot assign an individual uh, station address uh, in this uh, for for point to point protocols. Um, the third field we have is the control field. It is also a one byte field um, and it contains a binary uh, sequence uh, like uh, six uh, zeros and then two uh, ones. And uh, basically, uh, this is used uh, for transmission of user data in an unsequenced uh, frame. The fourth field we have is a protocol uh, field, it is a two byte uh, field that basically uh, tells you the protocol basically which is basically encapsulated in that in the in the data field uh, of the frame and also you have the data field which basically contains the actual uh, data and then uh, just like in ethernet you have an fcs field uh, for 
uh, for for error correction and error checking. So we basically discussed uh, different uh, Mac, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, protocols like Ethernet and PPP, and we looked into the the frame structure of these uh, protocols, uh, particularly the data link frame and you know the Ethernet protocol and also the PPP uh, protocol uh, frame structure in our today's uh, topic.